I am <laughs> a porn star. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Please don't get that excited around me. On your what? <laughs> On your downtime, you know, while you're not, you know, you know, doing what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Making movies. On your downtime, making art, is that what you? On your down on your downtime, what I have for you is the urge. Hold on. The urge bomb. Yeah, the urge bong. I almost said, I almost thought that I saw it wrong and it said bomb. But no, the urge bong, it helps you relax, you know, because you're you're a little tense right afterwards, you know, you're like and then you and then you need to just, you know, just chill out. And then it helps you out because then when when it's time to to shoot the next scene, then you know, you can just get right into it, you know what I'm saying? And it looks nice and natural and, and genuine and authentic. So So what does you know. the urge bit do? The urge bong? Hmm. Well, you know, the urge Does it bong. Give me the urge or take away so the far, urge. It just sounds like a bong. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a bong that, that relaxes you, but then when it's time to for your next scene to shoot, you're ready to get in there because yes, it gives you that urge. So it does both. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it impressive. helps you relax at first and then it picks you back up and gets you ready like yeah. So it is just a bong. <laughs> No, because when you come down from that, you just still like this gives you the urge afterwards. Okay. Well, urge bomb. Scott, I'm sure you're tired of always being covered in all of the the uh oh, it froze again for a second. There we go, it's back to normal. We're good. I have for you cream powder. Just apply the powder to the cream and the cream is gone. It's kind of like putting salt in snow. It kind of dissolves it, and the cream itself just vanishes. It's also Classic a, salty snow. Yep, it's also a, a, a good anti-baby making formula. A good spermicide, if you will. Wow, the cream powder. Yep. What? How am I, hold on, who said I was a female? No or one you, called you a female. Are you just assuming I'm not? Okay, fine. No, this is for anybody. Okay. Look, you don't know all you're I know, with. you're going to make money off of this, so you're probably going to be working with whoever, maybe ladies, some fellas, who knows? <laughs> okay, cool. Clean them up, clean you up, clean up the camera whenever you have a wacky blooper. That's very <laughs> true. POV <laughs> close ups. But it doesn't always have to be about on time. It doesn't have to be about, you know, it, 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 you want to celebrate in your off time too you're a, a very proud porn star you you like what you do and you're happy that you make this money doing what you love that's why you want to take your work home with you with the cock pillow <laughs> just <laughs> sleep in style in a uh phallus shaped pillow Oh, it's I very comfortable too. It's kind of like a body pillow ish. So you can kind of, you know, cradle the balls and just really work yourself into that shaft and, you know, have a great night's sleep in your cock pillow. I mean, that sounds very relaxing. If you wake up suffocating, you can, you know, <laughs> it, you it, just it kind is of... a choking hazard. <laughs> <laughs> so keep it away from kids. There's a few reasons you should probably do that. <laughs> Well, well have we I have something for, you know, uh, the most uh, problem that I can really think about when shooting porn in general is the sweat. Sweat is nasty. It's disgusting. You have and a powder I for have, that. And I have something that can fix that. It is secretion armor. <laughs> Just spray it on you. You won't sweat for a whole 24 hours. Now you'll Guaranteed. Have stroke. From the maker of flower spray. Yep. Secretion <laughs> armor. From the makers of cream powder. Wow. I mean, for the makers of craft for macaroni entry. And cup. that way you guys can shoot for much longer because you don't have to stop and yeah, pause indeed. and like, I mean, dab off the sweat. The cock pillow is as comfortable as it sounds, um, hugging a massive donger when I go to sleep. Uh, I mean, I'm around them all day. I'm going to be uh, see, honest. I think it'd be better if it was a pillow that was for the talent itself. You just kind of lay it on a little pillow. <laughs> oh. I mean, I, I, think, I, think, I think mine just like helps you out on set too, you know? Yeah, so does mine. I mean, this, this just sounds like a bomb with the word urge in front of it. <laughs> yeah. um, the cream powder sounds really useful. However, armor sounds cooler. It's not actual armor. It's a lotion. It still sounds cooler. This oh. is going to make you die of heat stroke. SPF 69. 
Um, I'm going with the secretion armor. Hell yeah. Alright, yeah. All right, brothers, I need some help. It's Hulk Hogan. Or a pirate. Exactly. Oh. I'm a wrestler. Help me in the square octagon or whatever the fuck they call it. Squared circle. Thank you. My pleasure. You win. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, we lost Ricardo. Oh, no. Not just any type of wrestler, but one of the most well-received wrestlers in the world. A sumo wrestler. Uh, or at least that's what it'll be based off of. And you'll be wearing the... Um, the egg diaper. So is it, what, what's the portion of the, the egg portion of it? It's eggshell white. Oh, very. It's very in right yeah. now. I yeah. Think, yeah, it'll uh, it'll be a good color scheme for you. I think. As opposed to the well. opposed to the diapers that sumo wrestlers normally wear, which are what color? They're uh, kind of a grayish white. Okay. I mean, this is going to make all the difference. It's not eggshell. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my uh, my best friend when I went to his wedding, his wife would tell me exactly what color the sumo wrestlers is. It was one of those like weird precise thing. I can't remember what colors were at her wedding, but it was like some coral reef, blah blah blah, Burnt something. Umber. Brown. Yeah, it's like some. Wow. But it was um, an exact thing. Also, it's an egg shape. I mean, I've got two products for you. Would you like to hear them both? Yeah, I would love to. I mean, the first one is, is I mean, it's a clever idea. Wrestlers, you have to travel a lot, don't you? City to city, moving from one town to the next, doing your wrestling shows. You're constantly on the road. Correct. And you've got... Always. A, you're constantly taking phone calls about the next storyline, about the next match, about the next pay-per-view, about, you know, everything wrestling-wise. Um, so what I've got for you... Is a phone charger just so they can make sure they can get in touch with you. Oh, oh okay. How's that? Uh, but okay. that's not that's not what you need. You know, when you're in the ring, the wrestling ring, um, things get sweaty. Very. Things get very, very sweaty. And that means that it's very, very difficult for you to pull off those moves. You know, when you're you're picking other big burly men up and throwing them over the ropes you're picking them up and yeah. slamming them back down you know there's every chance that they could slip out of your grasp and you could end their careers do you have yeah. the armor that Yanni sold you? I do not <laughs> however what I do have is something better than that something that makes it incredibly easy to pick up your opponent spin him around your head send him crashing down to uh, to the mat and I'm thinking about selling this to all wrestlers it's not just a product for you this is to make the industry better it's to make it more of a uh, a showcase make it far more appealing mine's just for you a manhandle so you attach this to yourself and to your opponent pick him up by the handle no danger of people slipping out falling over none of that stuff it's just so yeah. um does that uh like add any extra torque or anything? Uh, yeah, I mean it's 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 sort of a it fits to if you imagine it's just above your hips. Okay. So it's, so it means that it's still your hands are still going to be in a natural position for those slams. You know, you, you've not got to put your hands anywhere differently other than you've got something to hold on to rather than you know when gotcha. you've when you've done those slams previously, you're holding on to a slippery a slippery man who's covered in sweat and oil. And little pants. <laughs> little pants. I like. I mean, it. they wrestlers do wear little pants, don't you? I mean, I mean, some of them, most what of is, them. Yeah. What is your fascination with or wearing little pants? I think all you need is a diaper, eggshell colored for chance. Well, um. All right. Uh, well, you know how uh, most uh, wrestlers drug up, you know, before and after wrestling events, you know. Well, what oh yeah, you brother. Storm crack. Not only Whoa. does it get you high as hell, it also boosts up your uh, performing ability as well. So it acts as a steroid and as a pain reliever. Whatever is your poison. Wow. And would be a great name for a wrestler. Yeah. Yes. 
that can be your gimmick too. You can do Storm Crack and your name is Storm Crack. You can. And then, and then we can sell them, and that'll be my branding and my yeah, marketing. So you got merchandise. Yo, that wins it. God damn it. Win. Plus, I get I get high as a motherfucker. See, y'all don't know something about me. I smoke rock. Mm-hmm.